Hello fishing friends 2018 it's been a while since I posted a video and I apologize there's just been so much going on uh, unfortunately sick relatives uh, relatives passing um, just getting ready for my son's graduation coming up here in, in another month and a half there's just so much going on um, because of my uh, achy bones I've completely got out of ice fishing um, it just it's one of those things it's how to get old and have arthritis from old sports injuries um, but on the positive note got the boat opened up uh, finally now that the snows finally melted because we were obviously Erie Pennsylvania was trying to break the snow record over Buffalo but we fell short like by half an inch or an inch um, but on the update the boats ready to go into the water um, I'm just waiting for my new registration stickers to get here hopefully any day now they'll be here uh, but otherwise the boat's ready to go but on that note that boat that I did the reno on put the live well in last year and is in question what I'm going to do I may be putting an 85 horse motor on it um, or selling that boat I haven't decided yet. Or taking off the 50 horse that's on there, sell that motor, put the 85 on there, put on there, or take the 50 off, sell the 50 horse, and then buy a 20 horse and use that for the restricted lakes that's 20 horsepower and less here in PA, and use that as my inland water uh, rig for crappy bass fishing. I, I haven't decided yet. Um, because I am on the news front, the new, for me, it's not brand new, but newer than my other boat, I am picking up uh, a 1984 Sea Nymph um, center console boat with an 85 horse motor on it and a 2000 something aluminum trailer. Uh, the boat has a T-top on it. I mean, it's ready for, definitely for Lake Erie fishing. Obviously, some modifications that I would want to do. And I want to add some carpet to it uh, instead of the vinyl floor that they had. Um, that marine grade vinyl. But, um, yeah, so I, I'm on the fence. I'm like, okay, do I want to convert that? It has a small deck in the front. Do I want to expand that a little bit better and bring it all the way to the console so I can use it for the perch in the walleye, the bass, the crappy fishing? Um, or do I want to sell that boat and take the motor off of that and put it on the other boat? Or do I want to leave that motor alone fix it up a little bit, sell that boat or trade it in, and then go get myself a multi-species modified V bass slash crappy machine. Um, I don't know. Leave your comments uh, down below. Let me know what you think. Give me some ideas on the best move that you recommend. All I can tell you is this 18 footer is clean, really nice shape. Um, has like I said the t-top on the top it's I mean it's just a really sweet rig but post some comments down below see what you think just wanted to give you an update what was going on um, because we had a very long long winter here in northwestern Pennsylvania um, there has been the last week a few boats uh, been fishing for crappy on Chautauqua Lake um, the bay, Prescott Bay, they have been fishing for perch and crappie, and I saw some guys trolling for some steelhead as well as, because uh, we've got some walleyes in the bay, the spawn, trolling the, the deep channel areas um, and underground creek systems um, in the bay. Let's see, Pima Tuning, they've been getting... Uh, panfish down there especially some crappy Wilhelm I haven't heard Shenango I know they've been picking up some stuff but nothing major yet I haven't heard any stripers being caught yet they've been picking up some crappy though and some bluegill and a couple of small bass so Finley Lake nothing's happening there I haven't seen anybody up at Finley Lake 
Um, in Lake Erie, I haven't really seen anybody venturing out there uh, except to maybe launch at East Avenue and coming into the Bay of Fish. Um, but other than that, that's it. So that's my quick update for 2018 for TW Outdoors. Um, I just wanted to give your my fishing friends an update of what was going on. Uh, just like I said, there's been so much going on with the family. Got to take care of your family. Family always comes first. The man upstairs and family always comes first. And uh, everything's sick. So we, I mean, I didn't even get a chance to go skiing this year like I had hoped. Uh, it just, like I said, it's been crazy. And we're trying to get ready for graduation, doing the college thing. Um, just a lot going on. So, all right, friends. Fishing friends, I hope you guys have been out. I don't know if any of you guys have gone first day of trout um, here in Pennsylvania. That was uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, so if you did, hopefully you guys got some nice ones. And uh, we'll be hitting the water here real soon. I'll be giving you an update on the boat situation here pretty soon. And uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Remember, keep your lines tight. And if you hook them, you got to let them go or you got to cook them. You got to hook them or cook them or let them go. So, fish lots and fish often. This is Tom Waterhouse for TW Outdoors. Talk to you on the flip side.